Hello everyone, my name is Uthris, and welcome back to Space Engineers. It has been quite a while since we hopped into here. Um, some progress has been made in between episodes, as you can probably tell. I have the control tower built, though it's not really hooked up to anything, so it doesn't really act like a control tower, but it looks like one. And really, in my opinion, that's more important. Um, added some defensive turrets, kind of scattered around, which is pretty good. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you kind of what the control tower looks like. Over here I'm going to make a little addition for maybe some type of generator room attached to it. Just so it's not off by itself here. But you can see we have, you know, some different layers of material as usual. Um, we're using stairs in the 2x1 kind of ramp fashion to kind of carve into it. To kind of make it look a little bit more unique. At the top here, we have just a defensive turret. I was thinking about moving the antenna up here, but I think this defensive turret is actually probably better for us, as it is um, really the most defensible spot of the whole station right now, and I didn't feel like we had enough weaponry when I was building it. And if we head into here, we can actually hop inside and go up the little ramp that's dictating it. I haven't hooked up the turret just yet to the bulk of the storage but you know that capability is here it is acting like a main column as we climb these are partially kind of destroyed oh uh, beacons and that kind of makes up part of the wall um, it gives a little bit of an industrial look and then at the top we just have a whole bunch of panels again we don't use mods at the moment um, I feel like building everything in vanilla as I think that'll, you know, keep the save kind of open to everyone rather than, than locking away and requiring people to have mods to, you know, build things like this. And then if you have mods, you can always make it more complicated. I mean, that's all mods do. They just allow you to go that extra step to, you know, produce something a little bit better. But it does look nice. Um, but next, this episode... What we're going to be working on is, um, what I want to do, last time we built that mining drill, and it was okay. Um, it was my first time building something like that, and so this episode I'm going to kind of start working on convoy pieces. And what I want is actually to have some type of mobile refinery and miner kind of setup. And so we're going to start with kind of the drive vehicle today which will have, um, it'll be much larger than our LAV. If we go over here and look at our LAV, and I should bring it out, because it has been a while. Look inside here. Open the garage door. Roll on out. There we go. And I'll take it over to where we're building. Because I can use this as a little bit of a reference in terms of design and size. There we go. So, you can see this thing is just, you know, a light vehicle. It's powered just by solar panel and batteries. And it has, I think, one cargo container to help you carry and transport lighter and smaller items around. Um, this vehicle is going to be probably twice as long, maybe twice as tall, and may actually have a little bit of an interior to it. Um, I do like kind of the, the frame on that. So we're gonna see what we can do in regards to building some sort of frame house um, around this thing. Need to actually, if I can remember, there we go, how to turn on symmetry mode there. And we can just kind of start roughing in kind of how long we want this thing to be thinking 21 in length 
So you can see how long uh, this version is going to have. It's probably going to be a six wheeler, maybe more, depending. Maybe one and two in the front and two in the back to kind of support more weight in the back as uh, cargo does add to your weight now. I do like that feature a lot that it adds to your weight. It adds that extra little bit of design challenge that wasn't really there before. Okay, let's go ahead and just connect these sides. Just so if we do have to cut any pieces off, it can still float there. Just fine. I would like to be able to actually get inside this thing. So let's, uh, let's get rid of this cockpit off our hot bar. I'm still really trying to use the medieval engineer's hotkeys for building rotation. Uh, in my opinion, it's still better, but deal with what you got. So let's put a cab in here. Something nice and small. And the rest will be probably internals and things like that. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I got rid of something I shouldn't have. Okay. I'm gonna change the, uh, you know, it, it can sit flat for now. Worst case scenario, I put thrusters on it or something, make it hover while we build on it. So I do want a door of some kind. I wouldn't mind having a little bit of a front area to almost look like an engine on it. We can add reactors and stuff up here. Turn upside down to work on this thing. Okay. Okay, good, I can still access this area. It's gonna be a little tight, but you know, I'm okay with that. I don't know how to handle the door just yet, so we'll just leave it for now. And until then we can just kind of, uh, that's too low. That's not matching at all. There we go. Boom and boom. Is up the wall. Cabin area. Door does work. You can get rid of that. Have this side be like a little window, maybe? Now, I'm trying to build this as compact as possible. As... Space is key, weight is key, and all that. So you can kind of see out. We can put some storage in here that's accessible from the inside. I'm trying to think of like some sort of transport vehicle that will hopefully have a lot of power to it. But then also what I want is for it to widen. Back here fit our cargo where we want it. So 
let's see what a do I want large or medium that's always the, always the question when you're building vehicles like this large would be good medium would be good as well really Here, let's get rid of this beam not really needed right now I'm thinking medium Six medium cargo containers in the back here. Reason being, it'll allow me to pipe things up and uh, put some more internals in, like power generation and things like that. This is probably going to be a reactor based power source. Throw on some better shapes, I think. And I need a connector. And hopefully, I don't have to worry too much on height on this thing as we have the ability. To raise and lower the wheels kind of on the fly ourselves and hopefully we can use that to help line up connections you know on its own okay so what I need is conveyors small conveyors So, I need small reactors as well. These little conveyors will just kind of hook up in between these. be possibly cool is to have these vertical connection points so that maybe if we bring the utility drone along it can connect to the top and then what I want is some type of shell if you think the the space shuttle how it had its cargo bay it actually had that cover that would open and close I'm gonna try and see if I can't build something similar on this. That might be pretty cool and have, you know, the control panel in here to open and close the bay. So let's go ahead and hook this up. We'll get a small cargo. And the reason for that is for access. Now let's, let's try and keep this area a little bit open. I think that's for the best. Crouch down so we can actually see here. And we need this version to make this corner work. All right. So yeah, we'll have a little access point there. Does window work on Small ship? I don't think it does. No. I really can't wait until they have like merging blocks together and hopefully they'll eventually officially support the whole uh, small, large blocks on small ships and small blocks on large ship mod. That would be very useful. 
Okay, so we're already at like 15 minutes or so. So I'm going to try and get a decent amount of progress done, and we'll be back. Okay, so this is kind of the first pass on the exterior here. I have added all the wheels. It's no longer needing to hover for me to build on it. Added the merge block in the back rather than a connector block, because I figured to offload it, maybe it would be best to use... Uh, some type of boom that would come down and like just hook on top of it uh, that way it can just offload that way and the merge block will allow us to hook up a back trailer if needed or extend um, pretty far into other vehicle attachments like the mining attachment or maybe a platform to launch a small scout who knows and yeah, it's it's looking okay. I'm I'm not really known for my truck building skills, so it's a little rough for sure. Um, though I think it will definitely get better the more I work on it. And let's see here. I want to turn on symmetry mode again because. I failed just now at doing that. There we go. I'm trying to come up with ways to merge kind of the back wider area to the more narrow front area. And I obviously deleted things without symmetry on, so that created some problems. Not very surprising. Does it just do a three tall there? Yes, it does. And for now, um, I suppose I'll just fill this in. Just so it matches a little bit more. Uh, we have the front end, of course, kind of sculpted out. We have our headlights and things, though I would like to use kind of partially built blocks to maybe do an engine... Um, some kind here if I put a beacon and then I think we basically weld it down a little bit into a build state there we go. It might look a little bit better something a little bit more unique and it's becoming nighttime wow that's a sudden shift color that black that looks okay yeah I'll just have to keep attaching sections onto it for sure and I'm sure your guys's feedback here on this episode will definitely assist in the overall building process this is probably gonna be a two-part build as it is a little bit larger than what I normally do and really I sadly don't have a whole bunch of time to spend hours and hours working on it at the moment Seal this up and just see what this will look like if we do this. I think that's a different color. It is. Would you look at that? There's a slight pinky uh, color going on there. I don't know. From the front, it looks okay. And then it gets a little bit weird in the back. This thing needs covered up a little bit. I don't know what to put back here exactly. I could oh, throw piping and maybe put a defensive turret on here so it can maybe defend itself. I mean, I think that would be kind of easy enough to do. Let's see, maybe if I just get rid of all of that. We can add a defensive turret, maybe. I mean, if this is kind of an armored truck, it would be nice to have something to help defend it. I'm gonna move it up one block though, as I feel that's a little too close to where we would connect up to. That's okay. 
And you know, adding guns on things kind of instantly make it look a little cooler. And we can pipe that up easily enough, I feel. Pop it inside. I did add a little passenger seat in the back here. If I can get inside. There we go. Which which is cool, they get a little view and things like that. Those are the two buttons that'll hopefully control uh, the back canopy if I decide to continue with that. Haven't decided just yet. But yeah, that's going to do us for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more creative goodness. Go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, leave a comment down below on what you'd like me to see build next or what you would like uh, for me to add and change on this thing. I'll give you guys a couple of days, of course, before just so some comments can roll in. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.